Hello everyone. So Jones Road has just come out with a new line of tinted lip balms and there are 12 different shades and they are $22 each. So I am going to be showing you the three shades that I picked up and trying those on for you today. And then I also have the untinted one so I will discuss that one as well. And in addition I have some of all of the other lip products that Jones Road offers so I will be trying on those products and discussing the pros and cons for each one of those so that you can get a better sense of which if any of these products might be the most appropriate for you. So first a little bit of information about me. I'm 59 years old and I have dry and very sensitive skin. And over the past three years I've tried on more than a thousand makeup products and so I have a pretty good basis of comparison for everything that I try. One thing that I have found is that certain ingredients always do irritate my skin and those tend to be ingredients that many other people are sensitive to as well. So I just don't talk about products with those ingredients on this channel. And then in addition, some of the time I do react to some kinds of natural fragrances such as essential oils or other kinds of processed fragrances like linalool. And I know that those are fairly common also for people to react to. I do think that people's reactions to those tend to be kind of idiosyncratic. And so just because you react to some of them doesn't mean you're going to be reacting to the same ones that other people that are sensitive do react to. So I haven't excluded those from uh, discussion on this channel, but I do tend to discuss them, especially when my skin is sensitive to them. So in general, I'm a big fan of a lot of the products in the Jones Road line, and I also am a pretty big fan of Bobbi Brown, who is the owner of Jones Road, and I have followed her for quite a while, and I really like her attitude towards beauty and towards aging, and I've been really inspired by a lot of the things that she has talked about, and I joined her Facebook group, which is called JRB Roadies, and I have really enjoyed uh, that group as well. And there are a lot of products from Jones Road that I do use on a regular basis. So I really like the face pencils and the corrector pencils that they offer. I think that those have been really good for me. I really use this uh, eyebrow pencil very, very frequently. I think that this has been a really good thing uh, in terms of letting me put on a plausible looking eyebrow look in a really fast amount of time. It has little fibers in the pencil and so therefore they uh, give a really kind of a natural look that I find it hard to get with any other eyebrow pencil on its own. I also like the eyebrow gel, which I more use with other kinds of eyebrow pencils from other companies, but I think that this is a very nice eyebrow gel. And there are a number of other products that I really do like and that I use very frequently from this company. Now on the other hand, there are a number of, of products from Jones Road that I have had difficulties with and that even though I really wish I could use them, uh, I have found that my skin does react to them. So those have included, for instance, the What the Foundation and the Miracle Balm, and both of those do include some essential oils that I react to, in particular rose geranium oil and also ginger root oil. So one thing that it does seem to me is that uh, Bobbi Brown does not seem like she is a person that has very sensitive skin. I think if she did that she would have not been able to use all of the products from the Bobbi Brown company all of those years because most of them do have uh, either synthetic fragrance in them or other kinds of ingredients that definitely are problematic for me. And I think that it's great that she uh, became interested in more natural type products and she became a health coach. And I think that she launched this company just because she felt like it was a, a good thing to be doing and a more modern thing to be doing. And I think that that is really great. But I also think that in terms of uh, People with really sensitive skin, I'm not sure that uh, Jones Road is as focused on that as some other kinds of companies are. And they are using, in a number of their products, uh, a lot of essential oils and fragrances, with, which both give it a scent, uh, a scent that some people like and some people don't like. But I think that they are also using those as preservatives. So a lot of the preservatives that people used to use in makeup have gone out of fashion, including things like parabens. 
And it certainly is the case that if you use enough essential oils, that that will both keep the product from becoming rancid and it also will keep microbial contamination at bay. And so if you can tolerate those essential oils, then that's great. But if you're like me and you have problems with some of them, then that can make products that I would like to be able to use into a, a no-go for me. And so now let's talk about the lippy sticks. And first let's go back a little bit and talk about another product that was called the hippie stick. And this was one of Jones Rose's original products. And this is like a balm. It comes in a stick form like this and it is designed mostly to be used on the body, especially on areas like the elbows or the knees or other areas that get dry and rough, especially in the winter. It has a lot of nice quality oils in it. And this has uh, three essential oils in it. So this has orange oil and lavender oil and spearmint oil. And I think that this smells just amazing. Those are three of my favorite oils. And I think especially when using it on the body, I haven't found this to be irritating at all. I certainly think that my face is a lot more uh, easily irritable than my body is. And I've used up uh, quite a lot of this. I use it on my hands sometimes. And in general, I think that this has been very nice. And I've had this for a couple of years and it still smells fine to me and I uh, continue to use it and I'm about ready to buy another one of these. But I think this is a very nice product. And then last year they came out with this, which is a little a lip balm, and they are calling that the lippy stick, which is a play on that hippie stick. And this was basically the same uh, type of a formula as the hippie stick, but it had somewhat different oils in it. But in terms of the essential oils, they were the same ones. So it was the mix of lavender oil and mint oil and orange oil. And I found for this one that uh, I could mostly use it on my lips, but I found that if I used it on my lips on a regular basis for an extended period of time, I felt like my lips were not in as good of condition. And I, I think that especially that orange oil can be a little bit irritating, but it wasn't too bad. And I, I did enjoy using this and I continue to use it on occasion. Now in terms of the actual product though, this is in a plastic container that is just like like a chapstick or a Burt's Bees stick and you don't get a lot of the product and they were charging I think like $18 for it. So I think a lot of people said that this is just way too much money to spend on just a chapstick type of a product and that if you looked at something like for instance Dr. Bronner's I think offers a very nice little chapsticks like this uh, with really natural ingredients that are, um, I, I found them to be fine also. So when they came out with these new tinted lippy sticks, my guess was that this is basically the same thing, that it just had some uh, pigment added to it. And that's almost correct. Uh, these are in slightly better packaging. They're a metal container. So it seems like it's a, a little bit less drugstore-y because it does have this, this metal packaging to it. And I think that in terms of how it has looked on my lips, that they have been very pretty. There's a, certainly a lot of pigment in there. I don't think that when people say, oh, that's just uh, Burt's Bees tinted lip balm, I think it's a little nicer than that. I think that there's more pigment and that it does look pretty. So in terms of how it appears, I think it's a nice quality formula, like really all of the Jones Road formulas. But then, like many of the Jones Road formulas, it has a lot of uh, natural fragrance in it. And in this case, in addition to the three essential oils uh, that they were using before, which are the, the spearmint oil and the orange oil and the lavender oil, and then it has phenoxyethanol in it, which is a preservative that I'm not crazy about the fact that it's on my lips. I don't mind that one so much on my skin, but I'm really not sure I'm that, that crazy about it when it's in a lip product, but I, I've been able to tolerate that in quite a few other different lip products. So in addition to those three essential oils, these also have three processed fragrances in them. And they're natural, but they're uh, 
processed apparently in a laboratory and those are linalool, limonene, and citral. And I feel like those are a little bit on the stronger side compared to the essential oils and I think that I tend to be a little more likely to react to those. Again, it depends on how I'm using them. If I'm using things on my hands or on my body, it tends not to be quite as irritating to me as if I'm using them on my face or my lips. And my lips do seem to be somewhat uh, reactive and I did find that with especially these tinted ones that my lips did react pretty strongly to these. So I really wanted to be able to use them and I really thought that I should be able to use them because I thought the formula was the same one that I had used successfully with this product but it's actually a different formula because it has those extra ingredients in it and I really kind of did a number on my lips just wearing these for a couple hours and um, they, they got very um, irritated and kind of chapped and there even was kind of like a sore in one part and that's been a very long time since I've had any kind of sore like that. So I really did kind of give them a try and I really wanted them to work and unfortunately these are not going to be ones that I'm going to be able to wear. So that is kind of too bad. Now it is the case that the original ones, the ones without any uh, color in them, uh, they are still available and they seem not to have changed the formula based on the information on the website. So they don't have the limonene and the linalool and the citral in them. Now it is the case that Jones Road has a very good uh, return policy apparently. I have not ever returned anything to them even though I've reacted to a lot of their stuff. But I think that from what I've heard from people that are in the Facebook group that the returns are fairly easy and that they will take things back even after they have been used and they don't really make it difficult for you. So therefore, if you want to give it a try, if it doesn't work out for you, then I don't think you're going to be stuck with it. Now, if I hadn't reacted to these lip balms, then what would I have thought of them? I thought that the taste was okay, but I think that I always do prefer something that doesn't really have quite so much flavor in it, especially the lemonade type flavor that they added it to it. I think I was okay in terms of how it tasted with just the orange oil and the spearmint and the um, Lavender, I thought that was a better taste than this new version. I think that in terms of how it looks, I think it looks very nice. I think it's just kind of an understated look. It's the same sort of look that you get from really man many of the other Jones Road products. And I think that this one especially is a little bit more easygoing. I think that you could put any of the shades that I purchased on without a mirror. And they're the kind of thing that I would just throw in my um, purse or my a dog bag when I was out and about or maybe going hiking and I think that they would be really nice for that and so it's really too bad that I won't be able to get any use out of them because I think that they compared to other kinds of easygoing lip balms uh, that are tinted like that I think that these are really nice ones and I do think it's nice that they have uh, such a wide color selection and apart from the natural fragrances I do think that they have some nice oils in these and that they probably would be moisturizing uh, if I, they weren't being irritating at the same time for me. So one thing it said on the Jones Road website is that Bobbi Brown suggests trying these under the lip pencils. So I went ahead and did that. And so I'll talk briefly about the lip pencils from this company. And I do have three different shades of these lip pencils. And so I will show those in conjunction with the lip balm shade that I thought was the most appropriately matched for them. But all of these are fairly neutral shades and they are designed to be sort of the same color as your own lips. Now, I think that this is becoming a more and more uh, popular concept recently, but I think Jones Road was uh, a little bit ahead of the curve in terms of releasing all of these different pencils. What Bobbi Brown is suggesting with regard to applying them is that she suggests that you can wear them on their own if you like and that if you just put them on like the bottom part of your lip and then you smack your lips together that they will kind of spread all over your lips and give you a, a really a totally like your lips but better type of a look and I think that they actually do that. Now again for me I think that uh, in terms of how they performed and how they looked on my lips I thought they were very nice. I do think that they spread really easily but again I feel that these were a little bit irritating for my lips. And I'm not sure what the ingredient is that is uh, problematic. I'm guessing that I think it's the benzyl 
alcohol in them, which is another fragrance type of an ingredient, uh, another process type of a fragrance. And so that is kind of too bad. I did a video uh, maybe six months or so ago when these pencils were released and I compared uh, these and then I tried on a whole bunch of other different lip pencils that are in my collection. And I found that the ones that I liked the most were from Chanel. Uh, those are $35, so those are a little bit more expensive, but I thought that those are really, really nice. And then there are some others that I really like as well. But I, I think these Jones Rhodes ones are, are probably going to work better for most people. I don't, I, for me, they only were just a tiny bit irritating and I just have a zero tolerance policy in terms of letting myself continue to use products that are irritating for me at all. But other than that, I think they're very nice pencils. And so I think that those could be uh, worth trying for some people if you're interested in lip pencils that are sort of the color of your lips. So now let's talk about Miracle Balm. And of course, this is the core product for Jones Road. And this is what they made their name on. And this is why jo uh, Bobby Brown said that she started this company. So generally speaking, uh, the Miracle Balms are just sold in these really large containers and they are supposed to be used on the face and then you can also use them on the lips if you choose. This is the color Miami Beach, which I think is kind of a really pretty color. And if I could use it, I would probably use this one quite a bit because I do think it is pretty. So it's kind of like a balmy type of a highlighter. It's supposed to give uh, some moisture to the skin and some hydration. And it's supposed to give you kind of a little bit of a glowy look with just a little bit of a shimmer or a little bit of some color to it. And it does have uh, those essential oils in it. And so for me, it's, it hasn't been uh, usable really at all. And even if I put it on over a primer, I feel like it, it really kind of goes through the primer pretty quickly and that I really can't get uh, very much use out of it without my skin getting a little bit irritated, which is really too bad. Now, she, it is suggested that you could use these as a lip con balm, but this is really a kind of an unrealistic <laughs> container uh, if you're going to be using it very often for your lips because you would probably want to be putting this on uh, multiple times throughout the day and this is a very large container to carry around with you. Now on occasion, I have been able to pick up some of these little mini versions of the Miracle Balm. So sometimes these were available in kits. So I purchased a couple of kits at the beginning and then on usually around the holiday season they will uh, offer a set of these little mini miracle bombs and uh, those will usually get snapped up really fast. So Jones Road doesn't like to offer like Black Friday discounts. They just offer these as like a special concession to their customers who keep asking for them. Now, the reason that Bobby Brown said originally that they don't just sell these all the time is because the... Um, the large ones, she said, would not be much more expensive than the smaller ones because the packaging and the, the creation of these is so expensive. And so therefore they just sell the large ones. I would kind of suggest that if you want to uh, use these larger ones and you want to carry it around with you, then it, it's not really too hard to put it in a different container. So there are many containers that you can buy on Amazon or you can use an old container that you happen to have. If you want a container that says Jones Road on it, then uh, my suggestion would be this eye cream container because I do really like the eye cream that comes in it. I think that this works really nicely in conjunction with the Jones Road face pencils or neutralizer pencils that I use all of the time. And I think that this would be a nice little container to put the Miracle Balm in if you washed it out really well. So I think that uh, in terms of a lip product, I think it's actually kind of pretty on the lips. And I think if I weren't reacting to those <laughs> essential oils, that it could be a, a, a nice thing to put on the lips that gives it just a little bit of moisturizing. And I think the ingredients in this are not too bad. And there certainly are a lot of people who really like these Miracle Balms. And I think they're especially supposed to be appropriate for women who are getting older. So once you get to the point where your skin starts to feel more dry and it starts to look a little bit more uh, lackluster, then a, a product like 
like this, which gives a little bit of luminosity and moisture and uh, gives a little bit of skincare benefits in addition to the glow, I think can be really attractive. And I do like the way it looks on me. I think, I think another thing about these big containers is that they encourage people to use way too much of it and that if you put too much of this on your face, then you are likely to feel like uh, your hair is sticking to your face or that it feels kind of uh, overly uh, dewy and that it looks overly dewy. But I think if you use a moderate amount, and especially again for women that either have really dry skin or especially women who are getting older, that this can be a really attractive product. So I would, I think, use it fairly frequently if I were able to do that without it irritating my skin. But there certainly are plenty of people that are in that Facebook group that has 50,000 people in it that do report that they have had great success with the Miracle Balm and that they use it frequently and that they buy all the shades and they get all excited when new versions come out. And so I think that if uh, pe for people that don't have skin that's sensitive to those particular essential oils, this could be a good choice. And so there's one more product that has other natural fragrance in it, and those are the Jones Road Cool Gloss. So these are little lip glosses. Uh, most of them are tinted, and then there is one that is untinted. And I think that the untinted one is especially popular and maybe one of the most popular products on the entire Jones Road website. And so these, uh, the fragrance that's in these is um, both peppermint and then there's some menthol and then it says a natural flavor. So Bobbi Brown apparently is a big fan of Altoids and she's a real big peppermint person. And I'm actually a big peppermint person too and I've uh, eaten a lot of Altoids over time. So I don't necessarily object to the peppermint that's in this. I feel like I'm okay, for instance, when I have used uh, Dr. Bronner's peppermint a lip balm. So I do, I'm not sure it's the peppermint that's an issue, but it also does have menthol in it. And the menthol is a product that I think is often used in lip plumpers. And it may or may not be the case that these particular products also offer a little bit of lip plumping. At least they don't have uh, hot pepper in them, so it won't be quite as dramatically irritating as some of the products that are on the market right now. But I suspect that the menthol in this is supposed to make your lips feel a little bit tingly. And it may even be the case that when uh, the thing that I'm objecting to with these is actually just supposed to be that feeling of lip plumping that you get from, these, uh, from the menthol in it and that everyone is supposed to feel that. But nonetheless, I don't really like things that irritate my lips even if they're supposed to be and even if it's supposed to be giving me bigger lips. I don't really need big, bigger lips. I just don't want them to be irritated. So I haven't gotten a lot of use out of these products, but I kind of enjoy putting them on just because I do like the taste of that peppermint. It's just that if I use them too often that uh, I do feel like it starts to not be very good for my lips. And that is something that I've also seen dermatologists suggest is that menthol is really not the greatest thing to be putting on your lips and peppermint may not be great either depending on how reactive you are to it. Now in terms of the natural flavor I would like to know what that is. I once asked Jones Road and I really didn't get a response from that. In any case I don't really feel like I'm tasting anything in this besides peppermint and menthol. But it is very, very pepperminty. So if you don't like the taste of peppermint, then these would definitely be off the table because uh, the peppermint taste is very, very strong. And I actually like that part of it. Now, in terms of how these apply, I think that uh, this particular applicator is not really my favorite. I think that if it's a, one of the lighter and uh, not very bright colors, that it's not too bad. But I do feel like, especially when I use this red one, that when I put it on my lips, it tends to come out with a lot of the product and it tends to look really messy. And then I feel like I need to use my finger to kind of spread it around and make it behave a little bit better. And I feel like the main reason that I would use a gloss like this is when I'm like out and about. And at that point, I'm not sure that my hands are going to be clean enough that I want to be putting on lip gloss. So in general, I just feel like these are pretty messy to be this bright of a color and that if I'm going to have a lip gloss that is going to be that bright of a color, I would really rather have it be in a container with some kind of an applicator, like a doe foot applicator. 
But it also is the case that, as I say, that their most popular shade in this is the one that's not tinted. And so if you're looking for an untinted one and you're looking for something that has a lot of mint in it and a lot of menthol, but that is not going to be super irritating to your lips, but that might just make them a little tiny bit plumper, then this could be a good one. And it certainly seems to be very popular. And now we've finished off all of the Jones Road products that do have natural fragrance in them. And uh, the other ones that I'm going to talk about don't have any fragrance. And I've been able to use both of these uh, really nicely. So the first one is their lip tints. And these were designed originally to be quite bright on the lips, uh, but also kind of on the easygoing side. So this is the shade that I have on today. And this is called Pink Rose. And I think it's a uh, gives just a little bit of a pop of color to the skin and there are a bunch of different colors and they all of the original ones that they came out with were kind of bright colors like this and that a lot of people thought was really strange because Bobbi Brown originally made her name back in the early 1990s by coming out with lipsticks that were like pinky brown and the color of your lips and so the idea that the only colors that they would be selling would be ones that actually had a distinct pop of color seemed a little bit odd to people and especially people that tended to follow Bobbi Brown were not always comfortable wearing those kinds of lipsticks and I kind of felt that way myself Self. But I feel like the more that I have uh, tried experimenting with different kinds of makeup, uh, I think that actually brighter colors are actually looking kind of nice on me these days. And I think that maybe as you get a little bit older that uh, that little bit of brightness on the lips can have sort of a brightening effect for the face in general and can bring a little bit more life to it maybe. And I feel like on me, I think that a lot of these brighter colors are looking more uh, comfortable than they were when I was younger. So first of all, I wouldn't necessarily eliminate the idea of trying these out, even if you're not necessarily comfortable with a little bit of brightness on the lips. I think that they are very easygoing uh, lipsticks and that they go on really nicely and that um, if you want to blot them down a little bit, you can do that. But also, if you're just wearing them straight, I think that most of these tend to be a fairly easygoing look, even though there's a little bit of color on the lips. So I think that they're actually really, really nice products. There's no fragrance in them at all. I think that they taste good to me. And they supposedly have a 12 month usage life, but I have found that uh, I've had some of these for, I think, almost two years. I think that's when they were introduced. And I haven't had any problems with them at all. They still taste really good to me. They don't taste rancid at all. I am a little bit nervous about anything that includes castor oil in it, but in this case, I think it's been perfectly fine. So I think that in general, these are lipsticks that I really enjoy using. I also like the size of these. I think that they fit really nicely into even a small purse. Uh, I think that they're a reasonable price for the amount of product that you get and certainly for the quality of them. So I feel really happy about these. And I have almost all the colors in them. And what I tend to do, unfortunately, when I buy things from Jones Road, they have a shipping minimum that is $85 in order to get free shipping. And so usually what I have done if I'm buying a new product from them that has just been released is that in order to get the free shipping, I will add one or two of the lipsticks to the cart. And I am not ever sorry because I really do like these lipsticks, but I do think $85 as a minimum for shipping is a uh, kind of a high bar, especially if you've already bought a lot of products from them. I think in a lot of cases, companies where customers have already bought many hundreds of dollars worth of products, uh, most of the time they will give you free shipping. So Jones Road has a, their own way of doing things and they seem to be pretty good about taking back returns, but in terms of paying for free shipping or giving holiday discounts, they, they don't really like to do that. And so the final product from Jones Road that is intended for the lips are these lip and cheek sticks. So I have tried, uh, I think, four different shades of these. And these are fairly large containers, and they are designed for use on both the cheeks and on the lips. Compared to the lip tints, they're a little bit more sheer, but not a lot more sheer. So I think that uh, the 
the colors are really pretty on the lips. I would say that of all of the products that I have tried in my entire collection, these are really the only ones that I have tried from anybody that I think work really well on my cheeks and on my lips. Now, I'm not sure that it's the greatest idea to be using products on both my cheeks and my lips. Some people would say that you really don't want to be using them on both, but I have done that anyway, and I think that these work really well on both of those. And I think that they're very pretty on the cheeks. I think that they, even compared to a lot of... Um, cheek products, a lot of blush products that they actually last a bit longer and uh, they look nice for a, a while. They don't seem to be eaten up by my skin as quickly as many other kinds of cheek products. And in terms of my lips, I feel like they actually look really nice. They go on really easily. Uh, I think the only issue really for me is that these are just so large that they seem to be not something I'm going to be carrying in my purse necessarily, especially if I have a small purse. And um, I kind of am in the habit of saying, well, these are really big. Let's just put them away. And then I don't think I get as much use out of them, whereas I get a lot more use out of the lip tint because I have them with all my other lip products. So there's that uh, in terms of the size of the container. But on the other hand, as with the Miracle Balm, you are getting a lot of the product. And so uh, I, th I would suggest just finding a way to keep these somewhere that you're going to use them because I really think that they are very nice products. And I really like all of the colors that I've tried so far. And I think that uh, probably I'm going to have to try a few more of these colors because I kind of think that especially as a lip product that they are muted enough that really any of them can work for you. And I was really surprised with the chocolate mocha one. I really thought that this one was going to be way too dark for me and that especially for my cheeks it was going to be too dark and it was really intended for people that have darker skin. But that turned out not to be the case at all. I think it actually looks really nice on both my cheeks and my lips. It has a little bit of a reddishness color to it that I think makes it really pretty. So all in all, I think that uh, these work really, really well, and I think that people don't talk about them nearly enough. They mostly talk about the Miracle Balm, and I think that these are actually really, really good. And especially if you have sensitive skin, then these are uh, a really good product from Jones Road that I think are worth, is worth trying. So thank you very much for watching all the way to the end of the video. And if you have tried any of the Jones Road lip products, then please be sure to let me know what you think of those. Or if you have any other products that you think would be better than the Jones Road lip tints that you have already tried, then please let us know about those. In addition, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then I hope you will go ahead and do that. And Coco and I love you very much. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Love I do, love I do, baby.